We have a professional mu musician, I was going to say, golly. <laughs> Are we doing that twice? <laughs> well, Sorry. You, Sorry, I thought you, you, told, you told me we were shooting it twice. Hey folks, welcome back. I'm Ronnie. And I'm Ronald. And this is The Ron's World. And thank you so much to our subscribers. We certainly appreciate the support. Today on The Ron's World, we have a very special guest with us. We do indeed. We have a professional magician, Joshua Lozoff. And you've seen him on Pin and Teller Fool Us. You got it. Yeah. Let's go see him. Hey! hey! How's it going? Come on in. All, All right. right. Woo! A real magician studio. Wow. Woo! Hey. All right. Ronald, Ronnie, you ready to learn a trick? I am yes. so ready to learn. Okay. Let's now it's this. interesting. You think you are, but you got to think about it because a lot of it ruins the magic when you learn how a trick works. Mm -hmm. Some people prefer thinking of it like a puzzle. But some people don't like learning how it works because then it takes all the mystery away. All right, this trick I'm gonna teach you has uses three props. Prop number one is a balloon. And uh, I will have you hold that. Prop number two is a knife. That's the dangerous part. That's probably yeah, better than you hold right there. Yeah, I don't give sharp objects to Ronnie. And definitely don't <laughs> let him put them in the dishwasher. <laughs> and then, of course, as with most of the magic tricks, we use a deck of cards. Since you're holding the balloon, I will okay. make this easy. Uh, you can stop me. I'm going to go like that. You stop me wherever you want, and you, I'll show you the card. You can take it. Okay. Stop. Right there. All right. Again, I saw the face up card, so take that one. All right. Take a look at it, and you can show it to America, but don't show it to me, and don't show it to Ronnie. I got this. Okay. So I put it back in. You can put it right back there. All right. All right. And, and then I will give the deck a little shuffle. And then... And you and I have not seen the card. I have That's not the seen deal. the card. You know what it is. Yep. America knows the card. I, but we I'm don't good know at reading Ronald's oh, lines, but I, I think right? I know what it is. Oh, okay. I'm going to trade uh, I'm gonna trade you. I'm going to hand you the deck. I'm going to okay. take the balloon. And I want you in a second, you're going to uh, tell us what the card is. But first, put the uh, deck in your own hand. Okay. Calm down. I want you just to think about it. Okay, right. I don't know how to do this. All right, so All right pull down. Go. Yes, and just think about your card for a second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Mm -hmm. All right. Got it. I think I got it too. You know what? Okay. He is, he, you can read his mind. Oh, yeah, right. his brain cells have already been used for the day, so he's useless to me for the rest of the day. Uh, Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. Okay, all right. I think I know what it is. I'm going to try to get it to go inside of the I think it's inside the balloon now. I know that's crazy. Come on. From the deck, inside of the balloon. So hold the knife up. On the count of three, you're going to name the card out loud so that he and I know what it is, and then we're going to see if it's the okay, one. This is magic. No way. This is impossible. Right. No way. Right. Impossible. There's one, no one, two, three. What's the card? Eight of hearts. Come on. Uh, no way. No. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? That's crazy. Are you guys in on this that's together? Crazy. Like, wait, that's this crazy. is crazy. We're all going to be in on it. Are you ready to learn? I am. Are you ready to learn? Yes. I, I, feel, I, like I, I feel like I'm letting in on the inner circle yes. of magic here. This and we'll, st we'll start already with you having, I gave you a knife. Right, that's good. I a fair thing to do would have been to put this half uh, on top of the card. <laughs> I put it like that, leaving Ronald's car where? On the top. top. And then I gave it a relatively I fair shuffle. That. I know that's because I was talking to you. I was just misdirection. I gave it a relatively fair shuffle. All I have to do is make sure the card stays on top. Then I handed you the deck. But before I handed you the deck, I asked you both a question. And when your eyes came up to mine, I did the only sleight of hand move in this entire trick, which is called a one-handed top palm, <laughs> where using the exact right amount of curvature in my right hand, the exact amount of pressure in my right pinky, I slid the card off under the cover of my back of my hand into my palm. So when I handed you the deck, I retained the only thing that mattered. Oh my wow. goodness. Okay. Then okay. I. Okay, first of all, that takes way too much coordination for Ronnie. Yeah. And there's no way that he can do that. Uh, that's so there was no I, have a, I, I have a demonstration balloon. So now you can see, I would not recommend doing this with a clear balloon. Okay. But you can see when you do it with a clear balloon, the card is not inside the balloon. It's being pushed from behind. All that's left to do is then pop it and make it look like it's coming from inside of the balloon. So uh, now, that's how it works. That is genius. Okay. okay. So now you need to decide. Are you, do you, are, what do you think? Do you like knowing how it's done like a puzzle or do you feel like I robbed you of a moment of I, I, re I really don't want to know ever, you don't ever I again. I feel so much smarter <laughs> okay. and then I'm going to be able to I, sit in the show like so I, you I, prefer the puzzle and you I, prefer I, the mystery. I was, I was robbed of the magic here. Okay, I'm going to bring it back for you. Alright, watch very close. No! Now we really do have 
a card what inside of a blue no Alex Rage that is yours to keep. No way, Ryan. Okay. Did you... okay. Now, I thought we might learn a magic trick, but we actually saw real yeah, magic like, this here. Was a cool <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that knife from my <laughs> yeah. Good idea, Joshua. I gotta ask. Yeah. Like, obviously, this doesn't happen overnight, and you spent probably years and years training on this. Stop. Like, let's just say I had aspirations to become a magician. How long do you think it would take for me to master a trick, just like this one trick? How about a, a, a regular person? I mean, just <laughs> right. Well, I will tell you that the, I will tell you that the moves that I did in this trick can be done by any ten-year-old with twelve years worth of practice. Yeah, but, <laughs> but you've all seen that show, uh, Smarter Than a Fifth Grader. Uh -huh. Ronald is not. That's amazing. Yeah. I, it's just unbelievable. Like, I, still I, mean, don't I was know standing how right there watching that card go in. So I, I, I just am floored here. Well, listen, America, the world, I know that you're probably as mesmerized as I am. And I just want to say thank you to Joshua. This has been super enlightening. And please leave your comments down below. Maybe you have some ideas on how he did this. Or maybe you want to see some other tricks. Or maybe you just want to have Joshua at one of your events. <laughs> You'll be in for a treat. So thank you so much. My pleasure. Leave your comments down below. And I'm Ronnie. And I'm Ronald. And we'll see you next week. Say goodbye, Joshua. Goodbye, Joshua. <laughs> <laughs>